good day to you all can we use this mouse in real life yes we can when buying and selling we use dollars and cents in a price with both dollars and cents the dollars are the whole numbers and the cents are the fractions and the price is usually given as a decimal number other instances where we use decimals are when we work with kgs and grams, liters and milliliters, kilometers, meters, and centimeters. Let's see how we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals in real life. I bought 1,1 kgs of steak. 500 grams of fish and 1,5 kgs of oxtail. How much meat did I buy in grams? We are going to add the three quantities, and the answer we get is 3,1 kgs. Then we convert those kgs to grams by multiplying the answer by a thousand. When we multiply 3,1 times a thousand, we get 31,000. Then we consider the position of the comma, which is one digit from the right. So our comma goes into that position. Then the final answer is 3,100 grams. Timber is sold in lengths of 2,5 meters each. If I buy five pieces, what is the total length of timber do I have in meters and centimeters? We are going to multiply 2,5 by 5 to get the total length, which is 12,5 meters. But the question requires us to give the answer in meters and centimeters. So 12,5 is 12 meters and 50 centimeters. 0, 0,5 is equivalent to half. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. And half of that is 50 centimeters. If I buy three eggs at 30 cents each, how much change shall I get if I pay with two dollars? The total cost of three eggs is three times 30, which is 90 cents. Then we subtract that 90 cents from two dollars. We are going to convert the 90 cents into dollars by dividing it by a hundred and that will give us 0 0.90 so two dollars minus 90 cents will give us one dollar ten cents that will be my change how many bananas can i buy if they are selling at 20 cents each and i have one dollar eighty to spend we are going to divide one dollar eighty by twenty cents so our zero comma two must be converted to a whole number that is the denominator we multiply that by ten so that we have two then we do the same to the numerator one comma eight times ten we get eighteen 18 divided by 2, we get 9. So I can buy 9 bananas. Another way is to convert both the figures to cents. So we are going to work with 180 over 20. 20 into 180, you get 9. Therefore, I can buy 9 bananas.